I remember when it first came out, I often heard it described as Fallout in Space. I don't know if that's actually accurate or not. So that's what I went with. We'll see if that holds true. Thank you, Chris, for the like. I appreciate it. All right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and dive in. We'll go normal difficulty. Subtitles, yes. Cinematic subtitles, all the subtitles, please. Beautiful. Oh, dude, I'm so excited for Starfield. I mean, I'm excited because it's a Bethesda game. I'm, I'm not big on sci-fi and like space settings. Which is probably why I put this one off for so long. Uh, terrible launch. I don't think so, Chris. I think you're thinking of No Man's Sky, probably. This is from Obsidian, the same developers behind Fallout New Vegas. And they're also making Avowed now. Yeah, No Man's Sky is, is the one you're thinking of. That's a very different kind of game. That's a procedural sandbox uh, where everything's randomized completely from top to bottom. Um, this is a narrative-driven first-person RPG. It's, it's a very much like a Bethesda game, but it's made by Obsidian. At least, that's what I've heard. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. No Man's Sky is a cool game. I've put a lot of time into it over the years. It's, um... You know, leaps and bounds better nowadays than it was at launch. It's good. It just... It has a very, very, very slow start. To the point, almost, that it's hard to recommend it has such a slow start. But if you can get past that, it is extremely good. Um, I think I want my charm to be pretty high. Strength? I don't know if I care about that too much. Intelligence? Probably important. Maybe we'll go a point in dexterity here. Alright. Okay. Yeah, No Man's Sky is a cool game, like I said. It's just, it's one of those games that has such a slow start. And it's extremely heavily focused on... Um, it's, it's a survival game, more than anything. It's a sandbox survival game in space. Yeah, taking time off for Starfield is a good call. Thank you, Randy and Aaron, for the likes. I appreciate it. Aaron Hughes and Randy Little. Okay, so I, I don't really know what... what what kind of skills are, are good? Like, what's actually worth putting points into? I'm assuming long guns, right? Raffley, thank you for the like. I appreciate that very much. Probably long guns? Maybe? Oh, okay, you pick... I hear monarchs. Oh, I see, okay. Game hunters. So I get to pick my two major, like, major skills, basically. Um, let's go with ranged. I hear monarchs in need of more game hunters. And probably dialogue. You could make a vicar doubt the law. My aptitude bonuses now. Uh, 
Okay, so you, you get to pick one, you basically? Pick okay. No discernible aptitude. Block plus one per shock damage received minus three. Um, food effect duration? That sounds pretty useful. Uh, medical plus one. Sure, we'll go. I was a junior Maybe grade medical technician. About this, uh, lump in my neck. All right. Now, as per usual, I'm going to make a character that is inspired by and resembles my wife, because that's <laughs> that's what I like to do. So let's first. I got to fix the hair. I'm gonna dial in the hair a little bit here to get it vaguely resembling her hairstyle. We'll see. That's not bad, but she doesn't have bangs. Uh, that's not really right. Oh, it fell off pretty much entirely, Chris, after Elden Ring. I, to be honest, I just didn't have the time to keep up the momentum. Right after I finished Elden Ring is when our newborn came. And ever since then, I've been just struggling to find the time and motivation to stream um so i mean i could have tried to keep it going you know i could have really put in an effort but i just didn't have the time or energy or interest really i did start i did a, a demon souls playthrough um so i did one stream of that and that that seemed to go okay and I was going to pick that up again tonight, but um, to be honest, I just, it sounded like nothing but stress, so I, <laughs> I just decided not to. What's up, Diane? How's it going tonight? I appreciate the like. Thank you. Um, no facial hair. Okay, let's see. Sure. All right, there we go. Where's the... So some nice big eyes in there. Where's the eye color? Here we go. Kind of nice brown color. Chris been falling for 246 days. That's almost a year, my friend. That's, that's pretty awesome. Oh, boy. I am very bad at customizing faces to look... A certain way so my goal was to try to have this look sort of like my wife but I don't think I'm gonna be pulling that off so I think we're gonna go with generic brown-haired woman instead I think that's that's the route that I'm gonna be going dang Aaron 789 days that's crazy oh you unfollowed when I went to twitch yeah that makes sense <laughs> <laughs> oh you have a founding member badge okay not bad not bad milestone follower badge as well looks good all right whatever this is good enough we'll go with her looks good this is a valeria jaggermore oh no there's not enough room valeria jaggernaut nope Uh, there we go. Close enough. Valeria Jagamore. Perfect. Looking good. Linden, thank you very, very much for the Looks like. To be your lucky day, my friend. <laughs> I forgot that I had my um, my chatbot set up to respond to saying hi. Thank you for stopping by, Chris. I appreciate it. Okay, Terra 2. 
orbiting laboratory housing system. Status. Structural integrity down 25%. Power levels down 25%. <sighs> Well, that's not good. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? <laughs> oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? <laughs> Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. How was that show, Aaron? I'd see it done myself. Of I've course, heard it's really good. The board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! This guy's a little fishy. I don't know if he can be trusted. I'm feeling like probably not. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted okay. you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, all colonists are counting on you. <clears throat> are you caught up on the boys, Aaron? This season's. Absolutely amazing. Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no <laughs> sense in letting his ship go to waste. <laughs> Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Oh my god. Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. That's hilarious. <clears throat> yeah, you, man, you gotta catch up on the boys. I want to talk to you about that show. This season's amazing. I still haven't finished season two of Westworld. It just was not grabbing me like season one did. Um, no, let's, let's, let's go down 60 frame limit, please. We'll V-sync it. Motion blur off. Turn the field of view up just a little bit. Um, for graphics, let's put it at high. Okay. Maybe it should be a little smoother now. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Cool. Okay. So, space bar. Jump over obstacles. Okay. Got a nice... This planet's very pretty. It looks great. 
I definitely like what I'm seeing. Let's crouch down here. <clears throat> For those interested, this game is on Game Pass. So PC and Xbox Game Pass, this game's on here. Yeah, if you resub to now, Aaron, um, your single, like, w however long you do it. Um, it's six episodes out already, so the season is over halfway done. This season's probably the best so far. I love it. It's amazing. Okay, so tall grass can be used to hide. Nice. Yep, okay. He doesn't show up as Soldier Boy until, um, I think episode three or four. The first few episodes, he's not in it at all. Easy now. What was that? Obi-Wan is only six episodes, so that's already done. It's really good, though. Okay, so F is how you heal. There we go. Got that up in the top left corner. Hey, you. Come here. You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stinks. My medical's high enough, I can patch him up. Huh. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Oh, we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? <laughs> Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some <laughs> hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? I can persuade them. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Cool. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber, too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes, nailed it that time. <laughs> you hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. All right. <clears throat> Good night, Diane. Thank you for stopping by. So I crash landed on this planet, basically. I was in uh, cryo sleep for like 70 years. Um, so. We're trying to kind of figure out what's going on here. I've this guy's from Spacer's Choice. This kind of uh, this organization, corporation of I don't know colonists, and they've set up shop on this area, Emerald Vale, uh, on this planet. This 
Okay, tactical time dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the tactical time dilation TTD button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. So it's a slow-mo power. You have a limited time in this mode. Sanic still drains your TTD. The TTD meter refreshes slowly over time. Okay. Okay. It's a slow-mo power. There we go. Okay, we got got some ammo. Got a saber. I'm. Just, I feel like this is one of those games where you just loot everything in sight, right? Like a Bethesda game. Got some fish sticks. Okay. What's the inventory button? There we go. Alright, did 73, 70. These are all the same. Oh, yes. You should text me immediately, Aaron, after you watch. Watch the first episode. There is some shocking <laughs> stuff that happens in that first episode. It's uh, it's pretty wild. feels pretty nice. I, I kind of like the combat. Feels good. Alright. Do I have a new armor? I do. This is a 4. What I have on is a 3. But it's got plus five tech skills. This is stealth skills plus five. Okay. Oh, dude. Homelander is... You, I, I don't want to spoil anything. You just have to watch. I cannot wait to see what happens next. I'll just leave it at that. After six episodes, they have set the stage here for... Hey, get over here before you get yourself killed. I mean... <laughs> I don't even know. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Oh, that's my ship, huh? Yeah, I, let me just put it this way, Aaron. If that guy doesn't get an Emmy for what he's done with Homelander this season, then I just... It's completely robbed if he doesn't get an Emmy. You pulling my limb? I, I mean, yeah, of course. Marauders. Bunch of addle brain derelicts. I could round them up all by myself. I just, you know... Need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs, son. <laughs> Do Space Choice guards back down from a challenge? Guess I'll have to give you a zero on my customer satisfaction survey. <laughs> well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. You should be, Aaron. I think it's my favorite show on that's currently running right now. Out of everything I've watched. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh, 
Oh my god. That's a lot of limbs. Okay, that's good to know, Craig. I've been looking forward to playing this for a long time because I'm a big Bethesda fan. You know, so Fallout and Elder Scrolls and all that. And I'm a big Obsidian fan. I loved Alpha Protocol. I liked Fallout New Vegas. I really enjoyed Tyranny, Pillars of Eternity. I'm excited for Avowed. So I had a strong suspicion I would enjoy this game. It's really good Please so be far. Informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Ooh, an assault rifle, huh? There we go. Oh, I don't have many bullets for that gun yet. Unauthorized access of space-faring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Okay. I'm not here to misappropriate anything. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Gesture procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Prepare to reject <laughs> all boarding parties in five, four, three, <laughs> two, one. <laughs> We're on the ground. You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. <laughs> this vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Hawthorne's dead, I'm sorry. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? <laughs> I get it. You need me to be Captain Hawthorne. <laughs> well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. All right, sounds about right. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This <coughs> cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the unreliable. Do you understand? The name of the ship is the unreliable. That's great. I love Pillars of Eternity. I, I didn't finish the second one because the pirate theme was kind of off-putting to me. But I love the first game. It's excellent. Um, Spellforce 3. I've had my eye on that. Isn't that kind of an RPG strategy hybrid kind of game? I haven't played it yet. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. <laughs> <laughs> Skill improvements. All right. You have gained enough experience to go up a level. Valeria Jagamore. Let's see. 
Oh, whoop, 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 whoop. I was just testing that. Hold on. Um, di my dialogue bonuses have been working really well so far. Let's. I'm gonna get my engineering to ten at least. Medical. Let's get that to fifteen. How about we get our ranged up a little more? We'll do some points into defense. All right, cool. Looks good. Oh, so once you hit level 20 and something, you get different perks. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know. I was not aware. Okay. Is there anything else I can do on the ship? Is this sort of going to be like my home Due base type thing? Power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. I'm guessing once I amass a crew, they'll start to populate the, the ship. These are crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. Okay. Find a power regulator. We'll go to Edgewater and see if we can find one there. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, ma'am, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. <laughs> You've got it all wrong. I'm a Starship Safety Inspector. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Take care. <laughs> I think I'm going to enjoy investing in conversation skills early. Seems like a very enjoyable way to play this game. Man, these limbs just fly off like crazy. This must be a powerful pistol. Well, those poor residents. <laughs> God. I think I only looted two corpses. Where's the other one? Eh, whatever. Yeah, I have a feeling it's going to be tough for me to keep up with uh, all the lies I'm going to be telling. Ooh, would you look at that? That's that's a nice little view right there. Wow. I know this game got two DLC packs, or two expansions, or whatever you want to call it. And a sequel is already in development, so more is on the way. Whoa, hey. Where'd you come from? That's always reassuring to me whenever I go to play a game like this, knowing that there will be more coming soon. Okay, are you, you're Silas? What's up, bro? Running around in a marauder's attire. You're liable to give some people the wrong idea. Oh, because I switched my armor. That's funny. It's in poor taste. Dressing up like a marauder's disrespectful to all the workers that got eaten by him. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls. And low, low prices.
I'm Alex Hawthorne, Captain of the Unreliable. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. <clears throat> Junior in humor. <laughs> That's a fancy title for a grave digger. Um, yeah. Who do I talk to about a power regulator? Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. All right. He's up in the tower above the cabin. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously. Thank you, aware. Val. I appreciate it. What's your rap? It's my You're wife. A smuggler? Freelancer? Depends on the work. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. <laughs> Renting means money. What? Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. You're making people pay for their own graves? That is... <laughs> what? Company policy. If it was up to me, I'd put the whole town ten feet under. Free of charge. All right, I'll collect your fees for you. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. All right. Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Yeah, that's a good question, Aaron. Let me, let me yeah. see if I can ask him. You lose a lot of people. Any news? Huh, no. I'm curious how that works. Alright, so this is Edgewater. Um, let's, let's do this side quest first. I'm kind of interested. The, like, oh yeah, Val, if you're um, if you're watching right now, which I think you are, it says you are. I tried to make you in the game again. I didn't do a very good job. Uh, this is Valeria Jaggermore. She doesn't really look like you that much because there weren't very many good options. <laughs> but I tried to do the best that I could. That's, uh, that, that's what I got for you. Okay. So we are going to track down these people that owe the Gravedigger money. They're behind on their payments. All right, perk points available. What does that mean? Oh, okay. 50% base health, holy crap. That's a huge boost. Walking speed, sprint speed, durability loss, companion crit chance, base armor. Um, carry capacity, that's, yeah. Fast travel when encumbered. I'm going to go with carry capacity. That sounds pretty useful. Yeah, them thick thighs, though. That's right. I had to make it as accurate as possible, right? <clears throat> should I... Or should I put on this suit? Do you like seeing your tubes hanging off of you? Is that a... Is that, is that a good look right there? What do you think? All right, you owe money, Conrad. Okay, is this the kind of game? Let's see here, I'm gonna save real quick. We're saved, okay. Can I just open fire on this guy? Oh my God, I can. Oh! 
There's his gravesite fee. It's right there on his body. Oh my god. I did not think I'd be able to do that. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh boy. Complete chaos. Complete chaos. Oh! Whoops. Oh, that was cool. Pandemonium in the streets, guys. Okay. Let's just load my game. Let's not do that. <laughs> Let's not massacre the entire town for no reason. I can I can be better. I can do better. Okay. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Oh jeez. I can show you my hands. <laughs> no, thank you. That's quite all right. I've seen enough body parts in my line of work. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death, whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. All right, I need to collect your dues. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. <laughs> you mean you're broke. As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Oh, I see. So if you don't pay your fees when you die, you don't get a grave. So that's that's how they do it. Okay. What is this button? Oh, okay. That's cool. <laughs> that's some quality drama. With what? My own blood? Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Medical rights? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. Barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Just give him an IOU. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. <clears throat> I'll let you know if I think of anything. Much obliged. Okay. There's a necklace right here. It's pretty. How about that? What can I do for you? Oh? Am I in the company of a fellow doctor? You may think that, but the time... Whether you're showing up to work, or... Okay. There's some, uh, some bodies in here. Can I examine this? 
Reception has shot himself. This is bad. This is going to ruin us. So if we pawn off his teeth, a full set of gold teeth. <laughs> Just dig around and pry them out. We sell the teeth somewhere nice and quiet. Use the bits to pay his body price, and nobody's the wiser. Oh. Okay. What about that money? What can I do for you? Huh? Yeah. Use this heat that's collateral. You know about Eugene? How? I'm a mind reader. You were probably poking around my things. I really shouldn't leave my letters sitting out in the open. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom. Representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. So he won't miss them, yeah. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? You're gonna have to. Yes, I suppose I must. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Okay. Cool, peace out. <clears throat> Let's go investigate these other people. Good old money. Okay, who is this one? Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm okay. fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. All right, this is the one that he mentioned I might need to uh, do some persuading. And if I'm not mistaken, he was mumbling to himself, so this, this could be an interesting one. Whoa, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow, because I'm definitely not plagued. As dry as a <laughs> spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Okay, so he's sick. You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Knows what? Okay, here we go. Sounds like he's already told you. You may as well hear it from me. I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching. And soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave, and now he wants to charge <laughs> me for the other one. <laughs> I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from okay, Silas. Okay, cool. But if you could see a way to freelancing for me, I could really use the help. Okay. Couple hours out of your day and some light second story work. That's all. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Sure, I'll do it. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, law, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. Just keep your head down when you're in there. Marauders have taken over. Probably tracking mud all over the archives. All right. Well, two down. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. What? Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. 
Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. Oh. All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, uh... He's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. Okay, so what do you want? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. No, tell me. All right. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. Can you match his offer? I'm paid better than Abernathy. Whatever he's giving you, I will do you one better. That's all I can Makes ask. Makes sense you. to me. That seems like a uh, fair, fair negotiation there. Okay. I'll probably give the medicine to her then. Once I get around to getting it. Okay, so this person's upstairs. Whoop. I, uh. I went too far? Okay, so they're not that high. Oh, okay, uh, I see. There's a smaller little ramp right here. There we go. Hello, Phyllis. You the new worker? Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. Shit. Silas still on about that? Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. <laughs> These aren't signed in your name. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. Oh. If you're not familiar with board law, you ought to be. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Oh. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. <laughs> Eugene wasn't family. Yeah, you said you were his closest living relative. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. <laughs> I'm the one who found him, you see, so I pay the fines. Oh. Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. Wow. That... So everyone is property of Spacer's Choice. Sing, I gotta screenshot this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Everyone is property of Spacer's Choice. So suicide is considered vandalism because you're destroying company property. That's, that's insane. That's crazy. Yeah, what are they going to do? Arrest the corpse? When one of your workers commits a crime, the entire town pays for it. Wow. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's Choice. That's amazing. Yeah, so that's what they just said, Aaron. The entire town would pay. Yeah, he was a person, not an asset. Well, excuse you. I'll have you know, Eugene was an asset to us all. May his Adams be commended to the law. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees, which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. Hey, what's up, Richard? I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us can get on with our own lives. That is super interesting. That is extremely creative that I have not, I can genuinely say, I don't think I've ever experienced 
a game that treats workers of a company as literal assets like that. That is fascinating. I was not aware that this game was like this sort of like meta commentary on on like capitalism, I guess. I wasn't I wasn't aware. I thought this was just like a pretty straight up typical uh, just like a RPG, like, um, you know, I didn't... Oh, so these are grave sites. Interesting. Yeah, definite, definite Fallout vibes, for sure. Heavily influenced by Fallout, I, I, uh, I would imagine. That's definitely the vibe that I'm getting. Especially the sort of kind of sarcastic, kind of like tongue-in-cheek style commentary on, you know, capitalism and corporate mindsets and, you know, all, all that stuff. All that stuff for sure. <clears throat> okay, so Ludwig is supposed to be stationed out here. That's that. That's him. There you go. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. Uh, no. It's your gravesite fees, bro. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. Okay. I'm not even going to talk to this guy anymore. Yeah, this game's really good so far, Richard. I like this a lot. I'm uh, pleasantly surprised. Like, I was assuming I would like it just because of the, the clear inspiration from, like, you know, Fallout and stuff. And I'm, I also really like the developer, Obsidian. They're definitely one of my favorites. So I assumed that I would like it, but so far it's making a much better first impression than I even thought it would. Which is very good. I'm really digging this. I was going to continue my Demon Souls playthrough, but if I'm being perfectly honest... The thought of playing that game is just very stressful. <laughs> and I don't know. A game make, make stressing me out is not something I really want right now. I'm more in the play games to relax kind of mood Some kind of hibernation lately. Suit. Okay, here we go. We should talk about Eugene. Uh, I'll get. I'll turn in the quest first. You run into any trouble? Reliable work from a freelancer. That's gonna take some getting used to. I went out of my way for you, bro. And I'll buy you a drink sometime. Uh, suppose you've earned it. One good turn deserves another. Nice. Well, I appreciate the bits. I guess that's money in this world. Abernathy was sick with the plague? That's disgusting. I shook hands with the guy. I needed his fees because of his name. A for Abernathy. He was at the top of my list, you see? <laughs> Yeah. Um, no, nah, I'm good. With the faction has changed. Okay, cool, cool. Let's do this other quest now. 
We're going to get the cash and medicine from the community center. And then I'm going to sell it to that woman instead of Abernathy. So far, the characters and side, like little side missions and conversations are really good in this game. The writing is quite good. I always prefer that over a game where you just skip through the dialogue and skim and, you know, you don't really pay too much attention. You think corporate's ever going to visit? I vastly prefer worlds like this that feel very authentic and lived in, you know? Okay, so I guess I'll take the elevator up. That seems like that's what this is for here. Yeah, here we go. The grease monkey. Oh, cool. This is the guy I was supposed to talk to. Sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answers... Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Yeah, I kind of do the same, Aaron. Like, Elder Scrolls has great lore, but... I feel like Elder Scrolls Online in particular, there's just so much filler and it's very verbose and I don't know, MMOs aren't games I usually play for their dialogue and storylines. I kind of play those games to zone out and just sort of either play with friends or just kind of do mindless stuff. The single player Elder Scrolls games those games, I definitely read and listen to all the dialogue, just like I'm doing here. It's the same kind of, you know, focused conversations. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Uh, what are you talking about? Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through <clears throat> i'm looking for a power regulator only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer well hello this hello liable to be parvati handling it i beg your pardon i am most emphatically not keen on any such thing i can't let you have our power regulator but i happen to know of another one Oh, and of I course. happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Okay. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Hmm. Mostly abandoned. Pan Am, I know, man. I know. I want to. I, I want to replay Cyberpunk just for that. But if I replay it, I want to go a different route. You know. I've heard Judy is awesome too. So if I played female V, I would, I would go after Judy instead. Man, now you're making me want to replay that instead of playing this. Yeah. What do you mean by mostly abandoned? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think they'll take kindly. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But like a parent disciplining an unruly child, <laughs> you will be doing them a kindness. Yeah, okay. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Mm. Okay. Edgewater is struggling. We haven't hit our production quota in years. If we don't meet our quotas this year, the company might shut us down for good. I need those workers back at their stations. Hey, what's up, Ted? Neither do I. The fault was entirely mine. I pushed them too hard. 
My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you uh... go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. I don't think this is going to go well. Of course, I understand completely. Here, let me give you the passcode to the geothermal plant. A sign of good faith for so politely listening to me as I ramble on. Are you setting off for the Vale? Because I know my way around. Ooh, I mean, yeah, girl, come on. Want a guide? I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. Sure. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. I really don't like this guy. All right. So we have companions now. Provide combat support. Their skills enhance your skills. They increase your carry capacity. Special companion abilities. Cool. Now well, let's see here. Yeah, so we'll... Let's go ahead and let's do the mission that we were on already. Um, that's down below me. Oh, I've got 10 points available here. Okay. Um, let's see if we can get... Having sneak attack would be useful. Getting medical up would be useful. What does engineering do? Repair weapons and armor? Oh, hell yeah. That sounds great. Um, and I guess our last point we can stick over here. Okay. All right. Now, journal. Wait, do we have a perk? No, no perk right now. Parvati, companion ledger. Okay, she's got a pistol and a hammer. The hammer is very good, nice. Okay, this is seven armor, so she's got good armor. Okay, cool. And what's going on in the journal here? Okay, codex. I'm not reading all that. <clears throat> okay. So the mission to grab that medicine is the one that I'm on right now. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Okay. Makes sense. I'm on my way. Oh. Hey, ma'am, can we talk? Sorry. Okay, so I can you call. You got a minute? Moving. Sure thing. Be right there. Okay. Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all. But that's not the only side of the tale. I uh, figured... Oh, he ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. It's just... He doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Okay. How well did you know them? Did you know this Adelaide? Miss McDevitt? Oh, gosh, no. She was a real important person. 
A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. All I know is she left after her son died. It was a real big to-do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. Okay. How well did you know them? I don't know anybody well. I mostly listen to them talk, get my head down. There was a boy named Thomas who used to follow me around, asking questions about the stuff I fixed. He was real sweet to me. Not any sort of dissident. Okay. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. It just... It don't seem right to me, ma'am. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Okay. Thanks, ma'am. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, so now, if we're doing this quest, it wants me to go over here. I'm a little, a little confused. Okay. I thought it was in the right spot, but I guess not. Yeah, okay. So I guess I'm going all the way over here. There she is. I like having a companion. Are those marauders? I think so. Nice. That's the last of them. She's a good shot. Hell yeah. There we go. Got some heavy ammo for this gun finally. Nice. It's a, a different type of weapon. A trip blade it has 60 DPS. That's a two handed melee. Damage is 50. It has a bleed effect. Okay, so does the other one. Okay, cool. Well, it seems like she is going to be capable in combat, which is nice. Huh? You hiding? Whoops. Get ready. No! Oh! <laughs> Look at that hammer! That was sick! That was pretty badass. Got some money. So I guess these bit cartridges is, is the money. I don't know what most of the crap is that I'm picking up. 
<clears throat> Ooh. A plasma cutter. Oh, wow. Hold up. Oh my god. That's nasty. How many of those heals do I have now? I feel like I have a ton. The Adreno. I think those are like stem packs, right? Oh my god. Flanking him. I got you. Whoa. Well, completely incinerated that guy. She needs to heal. Oh, dang it. All right. I was not aware mines were a thing. Now I know. Oh, she's healing slowly over time. Okay, that's good. What is my carry capacity at? I'm at 43 out of 140, so that's not too bad. 110, this is 110. I can repair, but I don't have any weapon parts. Oh, you can break stuff down. Oh, okay. There's no point in keeping all these duplicates. This makes a lot of sense. You can break down weapons. And then you can use the pieces to repair. Ah, uh, I get it. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, I guess this is, yep, the community center. Probably should enter this while crouched, I guess. See what happens. Oh boy. Yep. This is about what I expected. I guess we're not spotted. Even though it wasn't technically a sneak attack. Oh, 
Oh boy. Yes, I'm okay. Huh. Okay. Let's see. This is... Ooh. Hell yeah. There we go. You can't wear two things, right? No. What is a mag pick? I keep picking those up, but... I don't actually... Oh, it's for picking locks, okay. Okay... Oh. Incoming. All right, so far these guys have been really dumb. I'm not complaining. 180 DPS. This is 215, so that's definitely better. Okay. Relatively basic assault rifle here. I'll do all the looting. Don't have to ask me twice. I think I cleared everybody. That's what it seems like. I would say so far, this has definitely lived up to the Fallout in space description that I often saw. A weapon mod. So I had a workbench, I can upgrade my guns. Okay, that's cool. We got a vending machine here. Oh, a helmet. How much is it? It's 120. I've got over 600. Yeah, okay. So all my junk. Ooh, that's good armor. Let's see. A revolver. That looks pretty sick. Sure. So let's take a look here. That was 110. Man, I'm stupid. The revolver I bought's worse than the gun I already had. Um, let's see. Is this quest by general buyback? Oh, I can't sell stuff here yet. Okay. That's fine. Let's equip our helmet. There we go. Looking snazzy now. Yeah, the vending machines are definitely reminiscent of Borderlands, that's for sure. I've heard pretty good things about Borderlands 3. I've been meaning to play that. 
Is that on Game Pass? I don't know if it is. A stun baton? That sounds useful. Alright, let's grab the meds. Is there fast travel? Can I, like, teleport? Oh, I just can't fast travel from the location. So from inside this building, I guess. Okay, so I have to leave. That makes sense. Nice. Can I hack this? Oh, we can't do anything else. Oh, you guys beat Borderlands 3 and 2? The original is the only one I've ever finished. I remember really enjoying that playing co-op. <clears throat> Tiny Tina's Wonderland looks pretty good. It's a lot like Borderlands. I grabbed that game. Um, Amazon had a buy two, get one free sale a couple weeks ago. So I grabbed um, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands on Xbox. So if you if you ever get that, Aaron, let me know. I'd be down to play. I've heard good things about it. It's a lot like Borderlands, but more of a fantasy kind of setting. All right, so I would like to give it to this woman instead. Yep, right here. I've got some time. Thanks. I'll see to it that this medicine gets to the people who need it. You gonna pay me? Here. Something for your trouble. Yeah, okay. Nothing personal, but I hope we never do business together again. Don't want to make a habit of consorting with smuggler types. Spacer's choice rep increase. Nice. You do have some cheek on you. Lucky for you, I kept a little contingency fee in case you tried to negotiate with me. Who are you going to give that deserving. to? Silas, on account of him being out in the cold. Amelia, seeing how she's around people all the time. Anybody in the sick room? Okay. Seems like I made the right decision. Morally, right? Okay, divert the power... Okay, so now let's go speak to the town's vicar, right? I believe is what I should be doing. You think ever gonna be is that person in here? I've always felt weird in here. It's too yeah, okay. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's toss ball predictions, <laughs> the quickest way out of town. Toss ball predictions? But what? I, I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Cut off the power. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. 
I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. <laughs> Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? Uh, he's one of these. Astute. But I am here, not in the deserter camp. So that's not a variable I can account for. Yeah, fair enough. So what do you advise? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. <laughs> right, just talk everybody into coming together. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's Heretical walls. Heretical text? My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Okay, so there's a book. Yeah, why would you want that book? I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. I don't trust this guy. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? It is not only a beautiful relic of a bygone time, it's also the thoughts of an early thinker on the nature of man's place in the cosmos. Not many in this colony could understand its true value, should they ever read it. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. I don't trust that guy. He seems shady. Okay, let's see. Getting sneak to 20 would be good so I can do sneak attack. So let's just do that. I can do perks. Um, I've already got that one. Carry capacity. Walk speed increase could be good. Just go with that. Nice and simple. Yeah, I walk quite a bit faster now, it seems. So that was worth it. Okay, let's go. Let's find this book first, I guess. Just like a Bethesda game, there's a lot of load screens <laughs> in the outer worlds, that's for sure. Um, okay, so I guess I can fast travel here, right? Philosophist. All right, cool. Dang, it's crazy how quickly you find ammo in this game. I've got over 300 bullets for my handgun. And like, what, 140 for my assault rifle already? Whenever I started, I didn't have any. For the assault rifle. All right. I've already been playing for an hour and a half. That's crazy. I am liking this game, though. Does this seem like the kind of game you would be interested in continuing to watch, Aaron, and whoever else is here in chat? 
This is on Game Pass. I don't know if you would be interested in playing it yourself. But if so, you can download it. Faux free. So I can sneak attack now. Could you be a little louder? Oh, here we go. oh crap. That slow-mo power is very, very useful. i got to remember to use that more often. Because there's no downside to using it. It recharges pretty quick. <clears throat> yeah, it sounds good, Aaron. I just, I wasn't sure about games like this where it's like... I mean, if you were really into it, you could just download it and play it yourself. So it's... <laughs> so I'm trying to get into the mind of a viewer. Where this is not the kind of game that I would watch. Because I would rather just play it for myself. Because it's more of a story-driven kind of choice-making RPG. You know what I mean? But... I'm not a viewer, am I? So I'm not the right person to ask those kind of questions. Messages. Fine, I must disagree with your theories about the Earth direction, blah, blah, blah. So the board and the new frontier, they've opened for us and all the other colonies on the rim of the galaxy would fall to pieces of your war amongst themselves. I'm sure to accept the mandate inclusion of the Earth Minister. There's the heart of the whole colonial system, but the real adventure and independent spirit upon which human come truly thrives. The furthest colonies, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yeah, I know what you mean. That's why a lot of the time lately, I just haven't been playing many games. Or if I do, I'll play like a retro game or just something that doesn't require much thought like I'll play Diablo on my phone whoops the new Sonic Origins collection has been nice I'm almost done with the first Sonic game just chipping away you know like a couple levels at a time here and there stash them all in a cave by the river so all of his books are stashed somewhere okay Guess I'll check upstairs. I'm gonna put your content direction in the hands of the viewer. As far as you know, we would just want you to play Kaizo Mario levels to your eyes bleed. <laughs> it's a it's a difficult rope to walk, Garrett, because for example, whenever I was playing Elden Ring, some nights I did not really want to play Elden Ring. I wanted to switch and play something else. Because I had streamed it the past, you know, 10 or 15 streams in a row. But I would sit down, I would play it after about an hour. I would have dozens of people in chat, lots of people talking. And it got me excited to play the game. Because I did love it. But sometimes it was just a very intimidating game to try to play. So knowing that chat was going to be into it. And I would have an audience to, to stream to and talk to would motivate me to play it, even if I didn't really want to at the exact moment that I sat down. So I miss that. I want to find a game that can kind of grab that same sort of attention, even just ever so briefly, because that was pretty cool. So I do miss that a bit. 
Hammer is 142. Holy crap. I want to use the hammer. It's going pretty good, Nick. This game's really good. Have you ever played The Outer Worlds? I'm really digging it. It's uh, it's a lot like Fallout. Like Fallout 3, Fallout 4. It's made by Obsidian, so the same developers behind Fallout New Vegas. And um, Alpha Protocol. Pillars of Eternity. Tyranny. They are right up there with Bethesda in terms of uh, masters of role-playing games in my opinion how do I get in there can I I would say Bethesda excel most at creating really compelling sandboxes to get lost in and explore and I would say Obsidian is really good at writing compelling stories and characters so it's really exciting to me that Microsoft owns both Obsidian and Bethesda now. I hope that means each of their games will be better as a result. Yeah, Outer Worlds 2. The, the trailer was really funny. This game has a lot of humor. It's um, a very sarcastic kind of tongue-in-cheek setting. Very much a you know heavy criticism of capitalism and corporate greed and whatnot. It's interesting so far. It's very clearly inspired by Fallout. Okay, I see the cave entrance there. I've got my hammer now. This game's really good so far. I've only I haven't been playing very long. It's I saw it described as Fallout in space. And that seems to be pretty accurate. I'm a pretty big fan of the combat. I like the slowdown mechanic. It reminds me of the VATS system in Fallout. But rather than targeting specific limbs, it's it's basically just slow-mo. At least as of now, that's all it is. I wouldn't be surprised if you can expand it as you level up and whatnot. So we're in the cave. Oh, your health slowly regenerates over time. That's nice. I just noticed that. Oh, crap. Why is this book so heavily guarded and locked down like this? Seems so weird. You're fast. Okay. Guess we got the journal. What can I see this item? Like yeah. Inspect it. Huh. Is it like a Bible type of thing or something? Do I need to actually read that? I, I guess not. Okay. Alright, I guess we'll go return it to the Vicar. Dude. But I could see where the rest of this tunnel goes first. Oh, it just comes out on the other side. Okay. 
Nothing too exciting then. Do a quick save. There's an idle camera? Oh, that's cool. I like that. Okay. I can't fast travel while I'm near hostels? Okay. I don't know where the hostels are. But they must be nearby. Oh. Right there. Here we go. Oh my god, what have I done? Oh. My god. Oh no. I'm so sorry, Pravati. Okay, they are retreated. Where is she at? Oh man. <laughs> Something you need? <laughs> okay. I guess she's good. Jeez. I guess when I got close to town, they just retreated. That was slightly terrifying. Okay, I got this guy's book. In games like this, I like doing the side quests whenever they're interesting. So like in this game so far, every single side mission has been compelling to me and I've like, I've wanted to see it through. Because they haven't just been little fetch quests. There's Any actual progress on that matter we discussed. You got your book. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices. I. Wait. What the fuck is this? <laughs> is this French? I can't fucking read French. It's a law forsaken joke, is what it is. French. Ha. I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan, while fighting it at every turn. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you just wanted it for yourself. There is little more important than such a precious, rare text. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. <laughs> At least you still have your mission work here to give your life a meaningful purpose. <laughs> This has to be some kind of cosmic retribution. Yes, you're right. Such are the workings of the equation. And I've only my own hubris to blame. I certainly never planned for this contingency. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. Could be a beneficial arrangement. You never had time. I wouldn't mind a ship hand. Yeah, what's in it for me? Free spiritual counseling. Someone to watch your back. Not to mention a grown-up in the party. Oh, Jesus. I'm 28. Exactly. <laughs> I'm pretty handy with a toss ball stick. Or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand, if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Oh. I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. Sure. Fantastic. Let me get my things in order and I'll catch up with you. Edgewater's gonna miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Thank you, Ms. Holcomb. I'll be glad for the ch 
I shall see you on the ship, Captain. Okay. Cool. Skill points available. Level 5 already. Would you look at that? Um, Power and sweep attacks. That's kind of cool. But I think I might rather just upgrade. I guess getting my dodge and block. So I can leap forward. And do perfect blocks. Okay, so I can leap forward now. That, that that should be useful, right? Inspiration and determination. I can order special attacks. Oh, sick. Okay. Yeah, let's go with that. That seems particularly useful. C and V. Okay. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Um, oh, she has perks too. Increase her health. Threat generated. Or I can decrease. Sure, let's increase her health. Nice. I like that. This is it's a nice little system. Deliver the message, yeah, okay. Okay. Double click jump when moving to leap. Okay, so it's it's like a little dash dodge type thing. That's cool. I like it, I like it. Um we're going up there, so let's fast travel here. This game's pretty good. The other thing that appeals to me about this game that I've heard is that it's on the shorter end. It's not, you know, one of those 80, 90, 100 hour games. Like if I were to focus mostly on the main story, I've heard you can, you can complete this in like 20 hours, which is nice. But so far the side stuff has been pretty interesting, so I'm going to continue to do the side stuff as long as it interests me. Is she still following me? Okay. Are those things alive? Got it. Inside voices. <laughs> Inside voices. No, they're dead, okay. Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble either. Can we talk? I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. Yeah, that's us. And you can tell Thompson we're doing just fine by ourselves. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Okay. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. Um, trouble with marauders. You don't know what enough with the questions means? No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished. I'll keep an eye out. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Can't imagine where she's gone. Hail. Okay. Appreciate it. Okay. Well, that seemed to butter her up a little bit. Deserter boy. Oh, this is all considered stealing. 
So I guess I'll stay away from that. This must be the botanical garden here. Adelaide. That is cool. Oh gosh. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? Uh, you must be Adelaide. I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. Is this your greenhouse? No, dear. The garden belongs to us all. Life is the gift of the universe, and the universe yields its bounty equally, absent of prejudice. <clears throat> the soil around the Vale went sour years ago, but I found a way to sweeten it back up. The secret recipe is a little bit of elbow grease, a dash of love, and a heaping pile of special fertilizer. Reed Thompson, you here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? <laughs> Make amends. Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. <laughs> I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Oh. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of... I can track down the Zoe one before I head out to do that though. Supposed to search her house for clues. I'm alive, starting to feel a little better. There's a group of deserters living out the old baton. Okay, yeah. Nice to be away from the cannery. The labs have just in the power to run an aether wave, so I've been catching up on my serial dramas. <laughs> Not too bad, I can see myself leading a cadre of marauders, a band of bandits. Band of Bandits. What what would you call ourselves? A formidable 14, the 100 Hooligans featuring Zoe, Bandit Queen. So she wanted to go join the Bandits. That's interesting. Today is the day. Today is the day you take your destiny into your own hands. Don't about the murder. There are bands of wild, free-spirited bandits living in camps out in the hills, warming themselves by the light of barrel fires. Been tucking away some of Adelaide's food, and I've got some spare cans of sal tuna. She'll last me a couple weeks. Got some Adrena Time, too. Everybody loves Adrena Time. It's going to be great. Look out, Terra 2. Bandit Queen Zoe's origin story has just begun. Well. She left to become a bandit. No more Edgewater for me. No more cannery. So where's, what am I supposed to do now? Oh, okay, it's the camp to the east. So there, okay. How big, I wonder how big is this game? 
Like, I guess this is just the, the outpost on this planet, I guess, right? Emerald Vale. I don't know how many zones or regions there are of this size. Because I'm kind of wondering, like, what, what direction is the story going to go? Like, they've, they've done a good job setting up a compelling world with the whole Spacer's Choice organization, corporate, you know, exploitation sort of, you know, backstory. We've got the whole, like, the Edgewater drama, the way the different, you know, little factions here interact with one another, with the deserters and all that good stuff. It's pretty interesting. Got the bandits on top of all that. I wonder if I'll eventually get some grenades. Oh crap, man. That dude has a ton of health. Yeah, like I was saying, I'm kind of curious to see nice. what direction things go in, you know? After I get my ship repaired to get off this planet, what's going to happen? I'm kind of curious. Like, I could see this becoming a sort of, you know, like, overthrow the government type situation or something like that heavy weapons stealth minus five eh. i'm not very stealthy so that's fine oh that looks sick that's badass looking can i can i just like hide the helmet so i could see your face Let's see, is, is it froze for anybody else? I can't tell if it's just my stream or not. I don't know. I, I don't think it's froze. I think we're good. If you just heard me ask if it's froze, say something in the comments. I think we're good. Uh, let's break this down. Yes, yes. Um, all of those are pretty good shape. Don't need that. Or that. Or that. Or that. Plasma rifle. Not frozen? Okay. The real journey is the corporates we made along the way. I could see that. So I've got a plasma rifle now. That looks pretty cool. Hold the attack button to charge up and then release. Nice. What games are you playing right now, Garrett? How's life? Came out this way. Is, is this like power armor or something? Energy canisters? Oh, they're sentries. Interesting. Wow. 
Switching off between Elden Ring and Neon White. How did you like Cyberpunk, man? I love Cyberpunk. I've been kind of itching to replay it, to be honest. I really, really, really enjoyed that game. I just found a bunch of stuff. I guess it's meaningless junk. Yeah. Joint actuators, pneumatic pistons, okay. And how are you liking Neon White? I can't decide if that's a kind of game I would like. I watched a couple reviews and it seems weird, I don't know. Oh, baby. Man, how do they get grenades? I want grenades. Oh, that's Zoe. <clears throat> yeah, if I replayed, I would probably do a stealth kind of build. Because I played very, very offense heavy, like, just complete, you know. Balls to the wall, crazy, uh, mantis blade, shotguns, that kind of style. Wow, you crossed them all off, like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. Teach me your ways. What? You mean Adelaide's little congregation of nature-loving nobodies? I could not possibly be less interested in them. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. <laughs> Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. And no serial dramas. I've been thinking about going back. <laughs> I just gotta know if Lord Cavendish really is the masked marketeer. That's all it I'll took. I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Wow. Grace is gonna be glaring knives at me. So I've got that to look forward to. Well, that was easy. That's why you level up your persuasion, boys and girls, right there. you're doing what are you gonna do about it well yeah whatever I want carry on <laughs> yeah back off was that a good revolver 102, it has knockback effect. That's kind of cool. Sure. Something different to try out. Uh, that's a 10. That's a 4. So, that sucks. I need a better assault rifle is what I need. I like that they keep the ammo types very simple. You got light, you got heavy, and you got energy. That's it. Very straightforward. No confusion. Okay. Whoops. Let's go ahead and see here. 
Yep, a fast travel back. All right, I think we are at a pretty good stopping point. Just let me turn in this quest about Zoe. What is it? We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened anyway? She joined up with Marauders. Zoe joined up with a band of Marauders. Zoe. The same Zoe who doesn't know a barrel from a trigger. Well, I've heard stranger things. <laughs> you pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. I agree. Let me know if I can do something for you. Appreciate the cash. Look at that, level six. Oh, something of mine's broken? Really? What is it? What's broken? I'm so confused. What broke? Hundred percent. Ninety-four. Guess I can just repair everything. Yeah. Okay. I don't really know what was broken, but it doesn't really matter. I guess a bolt or pistol. One thirty-one. Hole. Oh. That. That is very nice. Yeah, don't mind if I do on that one. All right, cool. Yep. That's looking good. That's looking pretty good. All right, I think we're at a pretty good stopping point then. Not too bad, put in a little over two hours. And I think we're at a good stopping point, everybody. This was actually a lot of fun. I really enjoyed uh, checking out The Outer Worlds. I think this is a game I'm gonna continue playing and streaming. I really like it a lot. It definitely feels a bit like Fallout in space, which is a good thing in my book. Uh, so yeah, thank you everybody for tuning in. Aaron, enjoy watching the boys. I think you're going to love it. You should text me immediately uh, once you get to... I mean, just text me after the first episode. I'm curious <laughs> to see your reaction. Hey, take your time. It's, uh, it's a wild, wild episode. And this season's been incredible so far, so it's very good. Uh, yeah, thank you everybody for tuning in. I'll probably try to come back on Tuesday. I, I really... I want to get back into the rhythm of streaming two or three times a week. Sundays are usually good for me. Um, Thursdays are usually good. It's just finding a third day is the hard part. But I'm going to try to stream again soon. Uh, so uh, please hit the bell icon, follow, all that good stuff. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys again next time.